to talk about the limits, the end of scaling and lithography, and he made an amazing prediction. And I'll let Chris describe his prediction, so get your drink tickets ready. Everyone should say Wednesday poster session drink ticket. Take it away, Chris. Gather in close so you can all hear and toast. All right, so what I was saying. <laughs> That's good. That's smart. That's smart. Everyone gets close. Nobody can talk as loud as him. I'm sorry. Many people have predicted the end of Moore's Law, and they've all been wrong. Until now. <laughs> One of the problems with predictions is when you don't make them very specific. So last year when I predicted the end of Moore's Law, I decided to make my prediction sufficiently uh, specific <laughs> so that you can judge whether I was right or wrong. So I predicted that the end of Moore's Law would be Wednesday, February 26, 2014, just before the poster session. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to tell you that my prediction has come true. But you get to judge, not me. So I want to ask you, people who are here, make, who have made Moore's Law work for so many years, and who have now failed to continue that trend, I want to know your opinion. Is Moore's Law over right now? Is my prediction correct, or am I a fool? All right. Who says I'm a fool? Everyone raise your hand. That's a simple question. All the intel people. And I've and I made this prediction too. Intel will go out of business before they admit more <laughs> than And how many people think I'm right and that Moore's Law, in fact, hey, hey, hey. is So it starts by defining Moore's Law because. We redefine it all the time. So my definition, scaling that reduces the cost of a transistor. My opinion is that is now over, thanks to the 20 nanometer net, and Moore's Law is over. So everyone, let's raise a drink ticket together. <laughs> Moore's Law is over. Long live Moore's Law. <laughs>